two start in totally different places. We're at the season finale, you're both in love, and oh my gosh, I'm going to find you! Yes. And now you're a totally different person, and you're still at that point. Are we going to see a point in this series where it's just going to go negative or turn in a different way where she finally realizes this is not the best I know? Very possible that that will occur at some point. If Vincent continues on the trajectory he's going on, there will be a point at which Catherine has to, like, th there are lines that he could cross that would make her stop believing in him. Mm -hmm. And sure. he does cross a few lines, for sure. He's very questionable this season. I mean, he actually killed someone when it was yeah. accidental before, so. Right, now it is murder. Yeah. And, you know, I guess for Vincent, he makes it be okay for him because he's on his mission and he is cleaning up the mess of his makers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in reality, he's, he's killing other beasts, mm -hmm. not humans. Well, and those beasts, too, if we took Vincent's view, are destructive. They're enacting violence, generally, towards others. So, yes, so some people may believe that that is justice. Um, it just, I think, his, his, he has a mission that is just in his mind. Yeah. And it brings up a great debate between Catherine and Vincent. Um, it, they challenge each other on what is right and what is wrong. And they have very, uh, what, that's what starts to get pretty interesting about this season, though, is that Catherine comes from a more traditional, I guess, moral, uh, justice, law viewpoint, and Vincent comes more from an eye for an eye <laughs> well and if the if the if the law is not succeeding then somebody must mm -hmm. then it's not okay that these people are allowed to do these things i have the power to take care of it Kristen, you spent many years obviously in smallville I did. and you uh largely a lot of times were the damsel in distress yeah this show you kick ass i do plain and simple <laughs> Uh, even though you have somebody who can protect you, but yes. you kick a lot of ass. So is that was that part of the attraction of the show yes. for you? Yes, very much so. I am kind of, even if, Catherine obviously can't do what Vincent can do, so sometimes he has to, you know, save her. Right. Um, but I love that she is capable and she doesn't expect somebody to be there and that she can go into a situation and really handle herself. She's right. quite, I love that. It was very important. And Jay, are you uh, happy you don't have to dress up like a giant cat every <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am. You know, we've even reformed the makeup from what it was last season. Because uh -huh. um, last season it was eight prosthetic pieces and it went right over the body, it took hours. And they never really liked to shoot it. And, and I was always like, look, it takes four hours to put this thing on, you don't even shoot it. Let's redesign this beast, write it into the season. So Brad Kern really took the ball by the horns and, uh, you know, rewired Vincent as such. So now we have a beast which is very more streamlined and you know in the series you can't tell if it's Vincent or it's the beast sometimes. So it's a bit more dangerous, I'm not sure where he lies. Um, I can attest uh, from my wife that um, you, you've become sort of a heartthrob on television. Uh, do you get recognized on the street and or chased down the street a lot by your fans? I, well, uh, I haven't really experienced that much because we're in Toronto. Everyone's so polite. Oh, yeah, they're right. Canadians. Yeah. Um, oh. But uh, which I, I really love. But you know, every time I seem to go through the airport to travel, the customs well, woman really? <laughs> wants to check my bags. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the, the sort of fan reaction we see is through Twitter these days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that can get quite heated and uh, they are then, passionate. They, then they've got yeah. the fan fiction, mm -hmm. yes. which is quite saucy and uh, <laughs> Do you know this firsthand? <laughs> no, I've read a couple of pieces. So. <laughs> Just one more question. Sure. Okay. So, I noticed also this season you guys are coming together with your antagonist of last season where it's just, well, I'm going to prison you, I'm going to dissect you, but now... Can a leopard really change his spot, so to speak? And that is the question. Um, the answer <laughs> is we don't know fully. I mean, he's trying to show that he, he's different. Mm -hmm. um, but and he 
definitely tries to change his spots, but is it possible? We don't know yet. We literally don't know. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Y'all have shot like eight episodes or so? We're on our eighth right now. Eighth so right what now. would you say? What can people expect for the rest? Well, the eighth episode is our winter finale. finale. Yeah. So this is all a build up to that point. Um, and episode eight, like I, I really enjoyed reading it. It'll yeah. be very intense and it's going to, it'll be very clear what's going on with Vincent and Catherine by the end of that episode. Yeah, one to eight is a full arc in itself. Yeah. So they can expect some sort of conclusion by episode eight. Which will open up a whole new trajectory. Unravel the next one. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely.